Diamond Lot, The Diamond Squad, by Eric Hua. Chapter 38 Lost Soul The Mad King had reclaimed his ultimate weapon and the four warriors that were supposed to defeat him were powerless to stop him. Despite how awful the situation looked, Charlotte refused to give in. The Mad King laughed at her feeble attempt to stop him, but she was not alone. Appearing to help her were other fighters ready to stand up to his tyranny. The twin mages Olivia and Vance struck their pose. Gia made her grand entrance. Sebastian crashed in, riding on his bull boar. Zoe rode into battle with her stallion. Lilu flew in with Chelsea on her back. Rylan let out a war cry into the fight. Alex came in with his messy hair. Gurunjan walked in with a bag full of mysterious goods. Kevin carried a warhorn. Jet called on his shadow beast. Ava quietly waltzes into the arena. Rihanna stormed in with her peppy smile. And then there was Sirit and Victoria who stood by Charlotte to make sure she was okay. While everyone attacked the Mad King, Sirit, Victoria, and Charlotte were trying to figure out a plan. Victoria and Charlotte were at a loss, but Sirit had an idea. She pointed to Bella, who was still unconscious, and told them that she saw a vision of her squaring off against the Mad King. Victoria asked to find out what happened at the end of her vision, but Sirid never saw the victor. That was when Charlotte remembered Bella's earlier bout with the Mad King. Although it didn't end favorably, the Mad King had trouble detecting her presence. With their new plan, they were going to stall as long as they could, hoping Bella would regain her consciousness. Although Bella was unconscious, she was awake within her mind. She was initially confused as to where she was but after recalling her tilt against the Mad King, she figured out where she was. She began thinking about what the Mad King said to her before. The Mad King revealed to Bella that she was no longer alive. She didn't believe him at first, but when asked about her past, Bella couldn't recall anything from her time before arriving to Fifth Guard. Bella said she had amnesia, but the Mad King told Bella that she had lost her life. Her mind was beginning to go insane from all the thoughts poisoning her mind. She would have lost her sanity, but someone appeared in her mind whose presence was coming. He was the legendary warrior from many years ago. Although Bella was told this by the Mad King, she always had a feeling. She reminisced about times when she survived the unthinkable. In her battle against Jet's shadow beast, Surviving being bitten by countless ravenous locusts, when she couldn't be offered as a live sacrifice to the Leviathan, and when she survived Kalia's attack. The man took a moment before he explained to her what happened in his battle against the Mad King. As they separated Desolator from the Mad King, the legendary warrior's soul was about to be lost. One of the wizards used their magic to transfer his soul into another body. Unfortunately, the wizard's spell failed and the soul was left wandering for many years. Until one day the soul found a village that was under siege by the Mad King's army. He saw a woman protecting her daughter who had suffered major injuries arriving near the waters. With her enemies pursuing her, she placed her daughter onto a small boat and kicked it out to sea. The girl was named Bella, and her condition that day was near fatal. She was in the middle of the sea with no land in sight. There was no telling how much longer she could have held on for as over time, her soul was beginning to fade away. That was when Bella pieced everything together. The only way she was able to survive was because the legendary warrior gave his soul to her. Her mind was still clouded by the Mad King's spell, telling her lies that she should not be alive and everything she had done was pointless. However, the man took out a bamboo stick and smacked her in the head. Although it was painful, she was thankful to the legendary warrior as her head was much clearer. The man asked Bella if she really thought everything she did was meaningless. He told her about everyone whom she met through her journey. All these brave characters scattered throughout the realm that would have never met each other without her presence. He then showed her a glimpse of what was happening back in the real world. Bella could see everyone putting aside their differences to stand against the Mad King. She noticed Charlotte telling everyone to hold on as they were waiting for her return. At that moment, the Mad King's spell was lifted and Bella's mind was freed. She turned to the man who had helped her and thanked him. The man turned away and began to smile. 
Before leaving, Bella asked for the man's name. He revealed his name to be Rice and they both disappeared from her mind. 